Hello students, today in this video we are going to learn how to find the HCF of 12, 18 and 26. We will be using the prime factorization method for finding the HCF but there are two ways we can find the HCF of these three numbers. I will be showing both the ways in this video. So in our first method we find the factors of all the three numbers separately using different letters and then after finding the common factor we find the HCF of the three numbers. So here I have made three letters and we will be using these three letters to find the factors of 12, 18 and 26. Find the factors of 12 using prime factorization. So 12 is fully divisible by first prime number 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Again 6 is an even number, it is divisible by 2, 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 is a prime number, it is only divisible by a number 3, 3 times 1 is 3. So we got the factors of 12 as 2, 2 and 3. Next we will find the factors of 18, 2 times 9 is 18, 9 is odd number, it is divisible by 3, 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 1 is 3. Next we will find the factors of 26. So is an even number, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6 and 13 is a prime number, it is only divisible by number 13, 13 times 1 is 13. So now we have factors of 12 as 2 times 2 times 3 times 1, factors of 18 as 2 times 3 times 3 times 1, and factors of 26 as 2 times 13 times 1. Now for finding the HCF, we are going to find the product of the common factors in between the three numbers. So here we see that number 2 is common to all the numbers. Next 3 is common to 12 and 18, it is not common to all the three numbers. Next common number is number 1 which is common to all the numbers. So we will take the product of the common numbers to find the HCF of the three numbers. So here we have 2 times 1 which is equal to 2. So the HCF of the three numbers is 2. That means 2 is the highest common factor which divides all the three numbers fully without leaving a remainder. Now I am going to show you another method where we are going to use a single ladder to find the factors of all the three numbers. So in the single ladder we are going to write 12, 18 and 26. As all the three numbers are even, we can use 2 to divide the three numbers. So 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. Now we have 6, 9 and 13. Now we are going to find such a number which divides all the three numbers fully. If we will not find any factor which divides all the three numbers, we are going to stop the division and the HCF will be only number which is the common factor. And here we see that 6, 9 and 13 does not have any common factor. So we will stop here and the only number which is there which is common to all the three numbers is number 2. So 2 is the HCF of all the three numbers. So this is how we do the HCF using a single ladder. Here we divide all the three numbers together and whenever there is no common factor in between the three numbers we are going to stop and the only number which is on the left hand side of the ladder will be the HCF of the three numbers. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.